Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make this gear animation in Blender. So let's start. Before I start, make sure that you have Blender version 2.93 as this add-on gear gen master test only work with Blender version less than 3.0. Okay, it's a free add-on so you don't have to pay anything. So press A, X and delete. Click on add, uh, mesh, click on gear gen master test. Go to the new operator, increase the number of teeth to 30. Make sure that you remember the module value, it is 0.2 meter in my case. After that, make sure that you select this gear. Now click on add, mesh, click on here and make the number of teeth 10. Press 7 and let's decrease the whole size. After that, what we have to do is click on add, mesh, click on circle. Press G, Z, uh, as you can see it's above now. Now what I have to do is select the circle, press tab, scale it down a little bit. After that go to the selection mode, press E, enter, now press S to scale it down. Now select the edges from here to here by pressing Ctrl E x s x 0 click on here i want to only move up to this line okay if you look carefully you can see it is 1 2 3 4 center to center distance okay so g x g x okay select this as shift s cursor to be selected go to the object set origin origin to geometry Oh, select this one, uh, select this one, set origin, origin to 3D cursor, uh, click on mirror, 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 so you can see it's here. Press tab G X Let me do something. Click on add plane. Make it two only and let's let's keep it there. So it's like this. Go to the modifier and click on mirror right now now click on mirror object it is empty now you can see it's correctly oriented now select this press tab click on here make sure it's absolute grid snap g x now it's correctly you know oriented now you can see the whole this look quite big so what we can do first apply this modifier select this press tab select this press tab by pressing Alt Shift, select the inner edge and I need to make sure that my center is at here so what I will do, Shift as cursor to be selected ok, ok select this, Shift as cursor to be selected now click on here, click on 3D cursor now press S to scale it down ok uh, the reason it, it was not working before because I also set this, this edge so it was not working now hide this empty press A E I, uh, close this G Z so we have made up to this point now what I have to do is select this 3 shift as cursor to be selected shift as cursor to be selected 7 select this go to the object set origin origin to 3d cursor select this gear select this press ctrl p object so if i rotate this now you can see it is rotating and this is basically what i want now after that i will use something called 
uh, I will do something called drivers. Why drivers? Why not constraint? Okay, so constraint has an issue. If you are just rotating 360 degree, it will work. But if your range is, you know, rotating this gear more than, uh, for example, 420 or 720, then you will face issue. You can try your own, but I don't recommend using constraint. I recommend use uh, dr drivers. So what I will do? Select this. Press N. So this is a Z angle. So press Control Z because it is going to take correctly mesh. Select this. Press Control A and apply rotation to make it zero zero. Select this and right click. Click on Add Drivers. Now select this. Uh, select this. Go here. Click on Drivers. Z axis and Drivers. It is taking from where? Uh, it is taking from this circle. This part name is called circle. And what I want to do? So the gear ratio is uh, one ratio three. So it means if it completes one revolution, this road complete one revolution, it will complete three revolutions. So what I will do? I will multiply by three and i think it's minus because it will rotate in reverse direction so let's check it out mm, nothing is happening okay it's like this okay why it's not happening because i take the x location i don't want the x location i want z rotation so i am taking the rotation from where but like taking i mean z rotation so if i select this and rotate you can see it is rotating but not correctly so select this so it is not minus select this r you can see it's correctly meshing some people might not able to see correctly meshing or not so, so now if i select the circle and now I rotate it, you can see it's correctly mesh. Do you see how it's correctly mathematically meshing? Just to know that I have used something called mechanical engineering because I'm a mechanical engineer. So I used all the terms very carefully. They are correctly aligned, distance correctly, you know, measured. Okay. I have used something called calculation as well. So just in case if anybody wants to learn how to calculate the gear ratio, check out my video link in description if you want to know. Uh, how to measure it it will help you a lot if you are in if you are a person who know who loves to make mechanical things or engineering things uh, that will be help you a lot of things it's quite easy to calculate gear ratio nothing hard and fast so let's try to do animation so i will go here click on timeline make it zero press i let's go to 120 and enter the value of 60 press i again make it 120 press i sorry t click on linear uh, by default they are all are you know bezier so i want linear one okay so if i try to play on animation you can see this look quite great And we don't use any kind of you know bones or anything else, so it's also quite easy for the beginners. And other thing is that is you can add material, but I am very bad at adding material for some reasons. Let's stop this. Go here and add some materials. And metallic roughness uh, plastic piece. Select this one. New. It will go to black like my future, and metallic.
cube scale it up press tab uh, select these faces x and delete faces Control B. Shade smooth. Add camera. Press zero. Go to the view. Take one city pixel view to camera. I think this view is quite good. So let's play the animation. Uh, let's add some lightning. I have some environment texture. And go to the shading instead of object click on wall select this press ctrl T ok add trans press transform Node vector transform. Let's forget that array. Uh, let's see, triangular one is checked on or not. Triangular. The node angular was not activity, so my fault. Okay. Okay, now it's activated, so let's have one. So I will go to the wall again. Control T. And I will go to the Z rotation. Press 0. Let's add some light. G Z individual origins and render image. Uh, this looks okay to me. I know it's not that look uh, great or something else, but yeah, it's fine to me. Normals. I will choose EV render engine. Cycles is best, but my computer will be burned down if I try to do. Let's see how does it look like. So that's all guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.